Hello, this is going to be our video on Newton's Laws. Uh, my name is Chibika Ikeze, and then these are going to be my partners here. My name is Doran Schwartz, and I am in AP Physics 1. Hi, my name is Kirk McCann. Alright guys, so I'm going to start the video today with Newton's first law. So Newton's first law states that a body at rest will remain in rest, and a body in motion will remain in motion at a constant velocity unless it's acted upon by net external force. Newton's first law is also known as the law of inertia because inertia is the tendency for an object to resist a change in motion. They, they're at rest, they want to stay still, and if they're in motion at a constant velocity, they want to stay in that constant velocity. I'm going to show you guys that here with these next couple clips. All right, guys, here we have a North Carolina basketball. It's just staying at rest, and it's not going to move around. It's going to stay at rest because of Newton's first law. Now, see, if I take my hand and, that, and outside the external force, move it, the body, it's not in rest anymore. It's moving around. But see, now that I've taken my hand off of it and the external force is gone, it's back at rest, and it's going to stay in rest until something touches it again and changes that from happening. So here we go. Once again, it's changed, and now that I've let go, the ball saying stuff. When I start rolling this ball, Newton's first law will also apply. So when I start rolling it, it has a constant velocity, and then it stopped when it hit the door, which is an external net force. The door made it stop, so it lost its motion. But in the moment that I was rolling it, the speed was constant until the net external force of the door stopped it. Physics. Newton's second law states that force equals mass times acceleration. So to make an example of that, here, we have two different objects with different masses. We have this ping pong ball, which is fairly light, and this baseball, which is slightly heavier. We also have this hockey stick, which is going to allow me to strike both of these balls at the exact same time and make it so that they exhibit the exact same force. Now, if Newton's second law is correct, which we know it is, the ping pong ball will travel further due to it having a greater acceleration since the same force is exhibited on them, but the tennis ball has a greater mass, meaning that the ping pong ball will have to have a greater acceleration. Two, one. As you just saw, the ping pong ball traveled much faster than the baseball. This is because, as I said before, they experienced the same force, but the ping pong ball had a much lighter mass, meaning that it had to have a faster acceleration. This proves and is a real world example of Newton's second law. Newton's third law. Whenever one body exerts a force on a second body, this first body experiences a force that is equal in magnitude and opposite in direction to the force that it exerts. Newton's cradle demonstrates the third law of motion because when one of the balls is lifted and released, it strikes the remaining stationary balls and sends the same equal force all the way throughout because each of the ball balls experiences the same amount of force and they all exert the same amount of force out, showing that you receive a force that is equal to the one that you exert but in opposite directions. Physics. Yeah.